Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the another Hot Toys Iron Man diecast figure for the uh, Neon Tech 2.0, which is basically based on Mark 6 and Mark 6 and Mark 5, which I already have here, which is a holographic version. And the only thing that difference is their chest plate. Uh, Mark 6 used a triangle version, the uh, Mark 4 used the um, just round circle. Um, that's the only thing different, right? So the rest is all exactly identical. Um, but I decided that I'm gonna have this Neon Tech version because I have the 3.0 and also 4.0 from the uh, you know, War Machines and then Mark 50 as well. So I also have a Spider Man, which is a UV light reflective Mark 4 as well. So I just decided that I'm gonna have little UV light strip and everything around with a tiny little display shelf on my display cabinet. So and I just need one more figures to fill up the space and uh, I thought this guy is perfect fit and I don't want the uh, 1.0 with all the gun trees and everything. I know that it's a new one but I don't really have a lot of space for that and plus I'm not that big fan of Neon Tech but I do like the Neon Tech uh, for what it is but I don't like the figures that has loads of unpainted black plastic around uh, I knew that from the uh, 3.0 which I learned from it <laughs> um, but I didn't expect it to be this bad in this figure and there is a reason why, why I'm gonna go through that in a second um, I got this for 1,300 Hong Kong dollar from the try buying agent plus shipping so I roughly pay around about 165 or something like that which I think is a not a bad price for this figure right so hot toy Iron Man die cast with LED lighter point and less than 200 pounds which is what I pay for for this holographic version from Zabi and also the same for this guy uh, which is a uh, 15 pound more than this guy which is not too bad you know i would say so um yeah what's the worst can happen right and and on the web page says the uh, this is non-refundable so i was a little bit suspicious about why they say non-refundable and i asked them for it a uh, reason why and they just don't give me the straight answers and because they don't know either unless they open a box but they do know that it's been out in the market for a while, at least two years. And it's been in the storage and in the warehouse, probably bouncing around this box from one shelf to another shelf or whatever it is. And there must be a reason why they can't discount it and also said that it's non-refundable. Um, but I thought that, okay, I have one thing I like, you know, Iron Man is made of die cast and it's a reasonable price. And I know that this guy can do three-point learning pose just like the Mark IV, all right? As you can see here, it's completely natural. And um, the good news is all these three Neon Tech that you see here, they can all do three-point learning pose, which is amazing. And that's one of the main reasons why I decided that, you know what, I'm gonna take that risk and then see what happened. And it can't be that bad, right? And when I received it, <laughs> the story is totally different. I kind of disappointed in a way. Um, which I'm gonna share with you in a second. Okay, so, um, so yeah, so I try all the three point landing posts here, and none of them works with the uh, Mark Forty Seven or War Machines or Punisher War Machine. I try all of those ones, nothing works. Okay, Mark Five come very close to it, and um, Mark Seven or Mark Twenty One, my desk doesn't work either, and uh, Forty Nine Rescue actually work three point landing posts. Um, yeah, so that's it. I can't do any of the three point landing pose with any of the Iron Man figure. And uh, also, the uh, Mark 85 doesn't work either. <laughs> so, I only have this Mark 4 that can actually do that. So, that's why I have to get this guy at the end. And when I opened the box, uh, I thought, yeah, it looks new. Uh, I cut the seal myself, take out all the plastic you know, uh, phone and all this stuff around, which is brand new, I get it. But when I look at it, uh, all the first thing is all the little swappable part that has all the little rocker on it, like this thing here, and uh, it just all fall apart. I just don't know why, I haven't even done anything. I just take it out, put it in there, and the rocket fall off. I was like, what? <laughs> And I can't super glue it back either and because they're so tiny so it's just over the place. So I just 
gave up and uh, just you know put it back in a box and then just sealed it and just put it in the attic and just don't want to look at it again so i'm just gonna have this guy as it is and with all the swappable pieces just to keep it all original as normal and now i'm trying to review these figures and now i see more problem <laughs> under the very bright light here and i can see lots of blemishes and lots of scratches around all over the body and it feel like uh, the figure has been used it's been out there on the display and it's been handled a lot but i don't know you know it's been in the box there for a while and I, I cut the seal myself so I know that it is brand new but Hong Kong it has loads of scratches and blemishes around uh, just by sitting in the box so I the only thing that I can imagine is they must be moving this uh, figures it's been in the warehouse for a long time in the storage for a long time they just moving from one place to another place throwing it around so the figure has been moving around inside the um, you know box on its own so maybe that's the reason that's the only thing I can think of, right? So that's a really let down here. Anyway, let's uh, talk about accessory that comes with it. So he has a pair of fists as usual, right? So you got a pair of fists and you got typical IMA articulated hands as well, which is the same. And you also have repulsor hand like that. And uh, he also have additional uh, pair of fists that has the little piece that can actually have some kind of like a translucent yellow laser light that goes about this long but uh, i don't think anyone will use that because it's quite kind of like long and kind of like you know user space so i'm not going to use that I just put it in a box but the uh, it has all the standard led lighter point just like a mark 4 right so i let me take a pause on that and uh, let me show you that there's a reason why i actually left one hand with all the uncover plastic piece and everything and he does have uh, a little light on the uh, chest which is uh, at the back you have to turn on the light here and then you get the chest reactor it doesn't lit up in a triangle format it kind of still a circle which is a uh, strange <laughs> uh, but that's how it is unfortunately and then you also have the eye uh, which is here and then you have to put this cover up and then you have to put this mask back on to get this look and then you also have the on the bicep which is you got LED light here as well and you also have a few blue LED light under the uh, armor and also on the hand which is cool right so I mean if you take out all the uh, cover and uh, you can see that all the blue lights are everywhere which is very very cool but unfortunately when you put all the cover and it kind of sealed up all of those are completely pitch black like this which is kind of like sad you know so you do have this uh, option of having this uh, little open portal that you can actually have rocket pieces and still you don't see that a lot of blue light you still have a hint of blue light around you don't get a maximum amount of all the blue light around which is the shame um, so that's that right for the LED light up feature and let me show you the uh, actual um, UV light effect as well in a second okay I got my uh, UV torch light here so I'm gonna show you here so you can see the uh, Mark 4.0 is a uh, you got all the uh, UV light effects here but it's not that bright which is a shame considering that it is the latest one so that is not that impressive even though it has all the uh, you know uh, latest version and then you got the 2.0 which is okay I mean it, all the yellow parts can't lit up here which is decent and also you got chest reactors and the eyes kind of glow as a blue color but the best one is still the 3.0 and you can see that here from far away and even though from far away it's kind of lit up like a Christmas tree and that is the best UV light effects here so that's what I was hoping for uh, okay so to get that's why I want to get these two here but unfortunately it is kind of a bit let down ish you know compared to this at uh, you know uh, 3.0 for some reason this one is so bright and uh, something about this thing is so you know something about it I don't know what it is it must have so many layers or paints or whatever but on this one it's just not that glowy 
And uh, this one is even worse here. Three four point is completely let down. And uh, two point is okay. Three is the best here. Okay, so that is the UV light effects. Um, so let me show you the uh, the figures with all the uh, blemishes and stuff that I was talking about. I mean, the articulation is the same, and then uh, you can see all the bicep and all the swivel and all the stuff here. So I'm not gonna talk about it in this video. I mean. I mean, what you can expect is all the same here. Uh, it's not because I'm not wearing a glove or anything. I mean, this is how it is, completely fresh out of the box. And I can show you that there are a few blemishes around. And let me start with the zooming in first. And you can see here at the back here, as you can see all the uh, part here, there's a little uh, scratches here, right? And uh, if I go down to the feet, and there's also some scratches here as well. And they are paint on the actual die cast, okay? And I don't know how is that happened, but uh, that's how it is uh, in this figure. And also on the bum, has a little bit blemishes and stuff like that. And also on the leg here, the paints are not good. And on the plastic part here, they got a lot of scratches around as well. Um, yeah, so it scratches everywhere basically. Um, that is really is not what I was hoping for. Uh, also on the chest part, um, so almost everywhere. <laughs> I don't know why. Just so many of the uh, little blemishes around under the uh, very bright light here. But if you don't actually look at it in detail, if you look at it from far away, obviously you won't notice it. But uh, if you look closely, it does have quite a lot of issues here. But then again, the price that I pay for is reasonable. Um, I wouldn't say it's cheap, but I'm sort of happy-ish. Um, I spoke to Toy by agent. I mean, what can you do for me? I mean, here's the photo evidence. And they said, well, uh, we did say that this is not refundable, and uh, but and the only thing they can do is that they will give me a little bit better discount for the sound of the future, you know, uh, purchase that I do with them. So, um, not exactly happy for that answers, but, you know, but then again, what can I do here? It's, it's not much I can do. Um, that's how it is for this figure, so I'm just going to have to let it go and then move on, I suppose. Um, but in the future, I'm not going to buy anything to do with the <laughs> something that says a non-refundable. Whatever the reason is, I just don't care. I'm not going to go for it. So here we are with this figure, right? So anyway, I hope that this video is helpful and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.